Well, hello. Before the break, I asked, how much is Uber worth? $860 million, $12 billion, $34 billion, or $68 billion, according to the Wall Street Journal? The answer is D, $68 billion. Well, but could all of that money be wiped out very soon? WSJ also published an article speculating that self-driving cars could be the downfall of Uber. And the company is feeling the heat. Uber CEO Travis Kalanick reportedly called self-driving cars, quote, an existential threat to his company, which relies on human drivers to transport vehicles and passengers. Mm. To make matters worse, Uber is involved in a 40 Billion with a b a billion a forty billion dollar lawsuit with Google's parent company. The tech giant claims Uber's former head of self-driving technology stole their secrets. Google's rather uh, from the parent company Alphabet, and Uber is destined to die. And if so, will a self-driving hearse take them to the grave? Joining me now, it's the CIO of Kingsview Asset Management and Fox News contributor Scott Martin. Welcome back, Hi. Mr. Martin. Hi. So, miss you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. So we just uh, only miss each other uh, physically and not digitally. I don't even know what that means. Yes. All right. So, Scott, let Sounds me... Sounds good. Okay. Scott, let me ask you this. Uh, the Wall Street Journal is saying the driverless technology is a tech disruption for Uber that could potentially be fatal for the brand. What do you think about that? Because I think it might be filled with some non nonsense. Well, I, I agree with it, actually, uh, Kennedy, because think about it. I mean, think about one of our favorite movies, Total Recall, when the uh, driverless car or the robot drives around Arnold Schwarzenegger and takes him everywhere on Mars. You know, that's actually what Uber's after. You mentioned it in the lead-in. With respect to what they, quote-unquote, maybe stole from Google as far as the, the Waymo technology, which is their self-driving car um, apparatus, you're talking about a huge industry. In fact, in 2020 and beyond, you're talking about self-driving cars all over the roads. That's what Uber needs going forward, because remember, this is a company that made $20 billion in revenue last year, but yeah. on the bottom line managed to lose almost $3 billion because they're paying people to drive the cars. That's absolutely right, but at some point they're going to have to make a big platform shift. And I point to Netflix because Netflix used to be a company that delivered DVDs to your door. And now they are essentially a vertically integrated content providing studio and so much more. Can Uber make the same kind of transition? And in that shift, will they be able to make the same kind of money? Well, they need to, and, and that's how the profits are going to come along. But I think what's interesting, Kennedy, about Uber's situation now is, remember, this is a company that's been growing in both revenues and valuation over the last several years, as you pointed out. But they've never IPO'd. They've never come public. And now you have these issues with PR, with Travis Kalanick, the CEO. You have a lot of executives that have left the company. So if you're an investor in Uber at, at the early stages or even today on the private side, it's kind of scary. Now, is it as scary as, say, boarding a, a Spirit Airlines flight and realizing Harrison Ford is your pilot? <laughs> Probably not. But you can't be exactly excited to see all the problems Uber's having nowadays versus what it looked like some years ago. You know what? I just, I personally cannot get enough Harrison Ford flying references. So if you don't mind, I'm going to work that well, in. You, too. you get in the plane with him. I'm going to wait on the ground for you guys to come back. Uh, I think Uber is just fine. I think they're going to go public. I think they're going to invest a bunch of that money they raised in the IPO into these driverless cars, and we really will embrace the future. They say they're going to have them in four years, which is pretty stunning because the Jetsons are almost here. We've been waiting quite a while. Yeah, it seems like it's going to come back around. The, the thing is, though, this court case, I mean, that, you know, $40 billion is not a small amount of money, especially yeah. when the company is supposedly worth $66 billion. So seeing how this court case works out, whether it's a settlement or some guilt, that can impact the company and how their valuation goes forward and the money that they're going to need to raise to make those self-driving cars. All right. Got to do. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Good to see you again.